I've just taken a four second video of me rolling a tennis ball across a table. Uh, here's the video. Now, I'd love to analyze this with some physics. So here's what I'm going to do. First thing, I will take it from Photo Booth and just drag it onto my desktop so that we get a nice copy of it there. We don't need Photo Booth anymore, but we'll open up Logger Pro. And we're going to import the video into Logger Pro. Go up to Insert, select Movie. And when you uh, open up that, you'll have to make sure you're selected at the desktop, which is where you just dragged that movie, and you'll go find it. Here's mine, Movie at 1024 and so on. That will insert a movie into Logger Pro. Now we can do some things to analyze some video here. If we click this button right here, it opens up a series of video editing tools. Uh, the first thing you want to do is to set a scale. So I'm going to click on the meter stick here. And I just so happen to have a meter stick in my frame, which is what we'll be doing. And I will tell the computer exactly how long a meter is. Here it asks me whether or not I want to set a different distance. No, this is just exactly one meter. And now it knows how far the ball is traveling. Now what I want to do is track the ball as it moves across the screen. I'm going to do that with this tool here. Uh, but the problem is that as of now, I'm still holding on to the ball. So we go down here and we're going to scroll through the movie until I let go of the ball. Here we see I'm drawing back and I'm about to push it forward, and I'm going to get the frame right after I let go of the ball, right maybe there. And here I'm going to start clicking on the ball, and as I click on it, it'll move to the next frame. So I'm saying the ball is here, and then you notice it moves to the next frame. And now it's here, and now it's here. And we'll just keep doing that. If you want to turn off tracking, these, uh, these dots that are forming themselves, if you want to turn those off, click this button down here. Uh, and I will just keep clicking. And the computer is keeping track of how far the ball has gone and how much time has passed so that we don't have to do it for it. And I will continue to do this until it gets all the way off the screen. When I'm done with that, it is very important to turn off the tracking button so that we don't click in anymore. And I'll go over here and I'll find a nice set of data. Now, I don't want to see the, the data in the y direction. This, the, this set of green data here is about how far up and down the ball traveled. If you double click here, you can select only the x direction, which is what we want. That means the left and right direction. And here's a nice set of data. Can you see that it was going at a constant velocity? We have a nice straight line. Um, if you highlight the data that you want, uh, copy it, you can paste it into Excel. So here I have an Excel spreadsheet ready. I'm going to paste it here with a control or a command V. I'll label this as time and this as distance. And then I can graph it the way that we've done before. Here we see a very nice, beautiful straight line of distance versus time. And I can show that graph. So that's how to analyze a set of uh, data from a video in Logger Pro.